Urban Therapy with Sun Sun Seven Five Two. This is your daily go get number one hundred and seventy-three for March twenty-seven, two thousand and fifteen. Yo, there's some people in your life. They might be they might be a friend. They might be a family member. They might just be a, a coworker or somebody that you see in packs. And, and when they're gone, you miss them. You know what I'm saying? You you wonder how they're doing when when they when you're far apart. But when they come back around. You realize, like, ugh, you really can't put up with this person. You ever, you ever have somebody in your life like that? Like, you miss them when they're gone, but when they come back around, you be like, all right, you know what? I got to put a time limit on how long me and you spend together because I just can't deal with it no more. It's, it's crazy, you know. We don't really want to be like that, but it just be like that sometimes. You know, like, like, for example, you might have a really good friend. And you know that they're genuinely good friends. They, they're good people, you know. They might be cool like that, but when they come around, they might do something that really irritates you. You know, some friends do things that irritate you. They might pop their gum too loud or talk, you know, debate on stupid stuff and have you talking around in circles about nothing. They might just like to play around too much and it starts to irk you. But when you don't hear from that person in a while, you get to wondering, like, what's up with them and what they're doing and you get to missing them because you know how when you get into a routine of dealing with somebody it's hard to just have them be out of your life real quick it's almost like when you go with somebody you have a you have a girlfriend or a boyfriend or whatever and you know when you, when you break up with them you really really miss them because you're used to them being around a lot but but when y'all get back together you realize like oh yeah this is why we broke up in the first place like, all of that stuff starts to manifest itself. It starts to come back. And it can get on your nerves. And that's kind of how these people are. It's not that you don't love them. It's not that you don't have love for them. You just might not have tolerance for them. And there's a big difference between loving somebody and being able to tolerate them. You know, for you to love somebody, that means that they are always in your heart. And if they really need you, you want to make sure that you, you, you're there. You, you're going to accommodate their needs to a certain extent. But being able to tolerate it means that day in and day out, you can deal with, with, with this person. And it might not be that way for everybody. Like I said, you know, people have their little hang-ups. Like, you know, you can get used to seeing a bum on the street on a regular basis. You know, you, you I don't know if you've ever experienced something like this, but sometimes when you ride public transportation... You, you might see somebody that, that rides the bus on your schedule. And you might get used to seeing them on a regular basis. So when you don't see them one day on that schedule, on that scheduled, um, you know, bus or train or whatever, you know, if, if it goes on too long, you get to wonder, like, yo, I, I, I hope that they're all right. And it might be somebody that talks to themselves on a regular basis. You know, it could be any anybody. You might not even know them all that personally, but... You know, they have ingrained themselves in your life because you're used to seeing them. I mean, even if it is a bum on the street that you, you give a couple of dollars to every day or whatever, or, you know, just some change in a cup. If they're gone for a while, you get to wondering, like, yo, what happened? You know, and, and sometimes they will be gone for a minute. When they come back, you might ask them, like, oh, man, you know, you all right? What happened? And they might tell you they, been, they was in a hospital or they got hurt or whatever. You know, whatever story that they come up with, and you, you're glad to see them again. But are you going to take them to the crib and clean them up? Probably not. You know what I'm saying? So there are people in your life that you can miss when they're gone. But when they come back, you might be ready for them to take a little trip away again. Everybody has a cousin that pops in and out of their lives. And sometimes it's better when they stay away for a little while. That might be your brother and sister too. For some people, unfortunately, that's their they, that's they mom or their dad bad thing you know people might smoke like for me i don't like i don't like smoke i don't people who smoke they, they can't be around me i can't deal with that i can deal with a whole lot of things but cigarette smoke i can't deal with it i can deal with weed smoke i don't, don't ask me why because i don't smoke weed either but i can't deal with cigarette smoke and i, and I mean i really can't deal with it there are no ashtrays in my house you, i won't li allow you to smoke that shit in here but that's one of the things. Like, I might have mad love for you. You might be exactly my kind of people, but when you come around and you smoking and all of that, I'm like, yo, you need to go that way. 
that way. It's crazy, man. I ain't gonna be you out of here with it. Remember the spring cleaning event, April 11th, 2015, around 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Saturday, 10 o'clock, April 15th. We're gonna walk it out, we're gonna talk it out. It's gonna be a great event. Make sure y'all put that on your calendar. Be ready. We got the water, we got the energy bars. It's gonna be a nice thing, man. You know what I mean? Get that gunk out of your lungs that you've been holding in there, you know, from the heating system all went along. Plus, it'll be a good time. Good chance for you to start back up that exercise routine that I know you've abandoned since since that New Year's resolution. Y'all know how that goes. So April 11th, make sure y'all keep an eye on that. UrbanTherapyWithSun.com, make sure you hit up the website. <laughs> good things happen to those who wait. Great things happen to those who grind. And anything can happen to those who go for theirs. So go hard, go for yours. And yo, those people in your life that, that you really, really love but can't deal with them like that, let them know. If you stop doing that craziness, I'll be able to put up with you a lot more. Or a lot longer. But for now, <sighs> you're stressing me. Holla at y'all tomorrow, man. Peace. Have a great weekend, by the way.